Hi everyone, if you're new here, which you probably are, my name is Nathan, and I make videos about my life. <laughs> Why was that so awkward? <clears throat> so, I recently graduated, and I realized that my biggest motivator in life has been fear. That's been my driving force for my entire life, up until recently, actually. When I was a kid, I was very scared. Most of it was social, social anxiety. I'd be so scared I, I wouldn't even be able to order food, you know. Throughout my adolescent years in high school, I used to be so afraid of what people thought of me. So I did a lot of stupid stuff. It wasn't until university that I realized I didn't like the person I was becoming. And so when COVID hit, it was actually kind of nice to be quarantined. I definitely isolated myself. And I did a lot of self-reflection during that time. But it wasn't until maybe the last two years that I've realized I've really used fear to my advantage, I'd say. Fear has always been a driving force for me. Not just socially, but definitely in other aspects too. I'm scared of my career, my future, and in that way, that fear kind of pushes me forward. It pushes me to do better things, like do well in school. It pushes me to like be proper, you know? A lot of it is from my childhood, you know, my dad. Um, training me, which I am thankful for, but yeah, a lot of it is driven by fear, not by my own desires. And for the longest time, I've lived like that. Now that I've graduated, I feel like I have a lot more time to do the things I want to do. But I don't really know what I want to do because most of my life has been because I'm afraid. So I'm trying to figure that out. But I'm also thankful that I have fear as a motivator because back in the day, I let fear take over me honestly still today sometimes i'm afraid and sometimes i i don't take action on things because i'm afraid and i think that's kind of the worst thing you could do the past two years i've definitely gained confidence and i've definitely used fear as a motivator rather than something that holds me back take this youtube channel for example i feel like most people who do youtube need a little bit and I, you hear this a lot People need a little bit of narcissism or you need a little bit of just not caring. And I don't think I'm narcissistic. I hope not. So I really had to throw my pride out the window to do this. <laughs> In a way. I don't know what is so embarrassing about it now that I'm doing it. Honestly, good things have come from it. But when I was starting, I was so scared of what other people would think. On the other hand, it's also given me more confidence. Because if I could talk to a camera, why can't I talk to a normal person? Because people watch this anyways, right? I've used fear like that now. Whenever I'm scared to do something, I think to myself, what is the worst case that can happen? I, I push myself forward. Instead of letting it be a roadblock, I, I think of ways to, to, to counter it. I take a deep breath and I just go for it. And that's how I deal with my fear. I'm not afraid to be myself anymore because I enjoy making my own decisions. And through making my own decisions and, and, and taking control of, of, of my life from what I want, instead of being afraid, has helped me gain a lot of freedom. I feel a lot happier, lighter. I feel like I can be myself for the first time in my life. And that is amazing. Now that I've graduated, I have so much more free time. And uh, I feel like a lot of that fear of getting somewhere, of, of achieving this, becoming rich, getting this job, has sort of diminished. I don't feel like I need to obtain certain status anymore. I don't need that certain... I don't know. I, I, I just don't have anything to prove to anybody other than myself. And for me, what I want and what I love most is spending time with people I love and spending time creating memories. Obviously, I still have goals, and, and it's definitely a goal to, to be financially stable, but I don't feel that sense of urgency anymore. My lesson is, when you're scared, don't let fear inhibit you. Don't let fear control your actions. See it as a learning opportunity, rather than something that holds me back. And that has definitely unlocked a lot of joy in my life. I don't know why this video is a little, like, I feel like I'm talking a little depressed, but no, I, I'm, it's, it's a happy thing. 
and I'm happy that I, I'm here and I, I'm so grateful for everything I have. Hey guys, if you stuck to the end, thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate all of you. I know my YouTube channel is very small, but I hope that you gain some insight on your life and I hope that you can look at mine and laugh or relate or whatever. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.